this video, I wanted to discuss the um, ramifications of the recent announcement on Friday, uh, April 10th, that uh, GE is going to be selling off its GE Capital division, um, the, the finance and banking arm of the, um, of the, the giant uh, multinational conglomerate. And uh, I wanted to talk about this because it's, it's quite a, a major move. You don't hear about moves uh, this, this significant very often, and so I think that this definitely warrants a video. Um, interestingly enough, uh, one of the first things that I thought about when I heard about this announcement that GE was getting uh, going to be selling its GE capital arm was the announcement uh, last year by CVS uh, Caremark Corporation that they were going to stop offering tobacco products in their stores, uh, their pharmacies. Um, and that was very interesting because that, that was a major source of revenue for CVS. And so it was interesting to see, you know, how they could possibly uh, recoup that lost revenue from, uh, you know, ending that, that line of products. And uh, they did make the move, and I guess the CVS officially stopped selling tobacco in all of its stores nationwide last October. And so that's that kind of relates to GE because when I was looking into GE, they said that um, about half of the company's annual profits come from the GE Capital Division, and it is a, a major part of their business, and that it has about um, a half trillion dollars uh, worth of assets. So it's huge. Um, I know they said that if it was if you were to judge them. Uh, by assets, it, it would be the uh, seventh largest bank, which is interesting because GE is not, you know, people don't think of GE as a bank when the, as their first thought. Um, and so it's it's interesting because the GE capital uh, has been so successful that um, the government has placed them under increased scrutiny as a uh, systemically important financial institution, uh, or SIFI for short. And uh, so um, I guess GE sees that as a liability, and so that's why they're trying to get out of the finance business so that they don't have to be enhanced to that uh, extra scrutiny. So this is interesting. Um, it's interesting because, um, you know, any time a company announces that they're going to be um, getting rid of a major source of their revenue, you have to wonder how they're going to stay profitable. Um, I know that the stock price reacted very well to the move. It jumped about 11%, and I guess that was the first time the stock in the Dow Jones Adjuster Library has jumped 11% and, uh, since 2009, so that's pretty significant. But, you know, if you look back on the, you know, the tenure of uh, the uh, General Electric CEO, um, Immelt, um, he's been there for about 13 years, and it's been, um, he's been, you know, dogged by uh, concerns by shareholders that the stock price hasn't, you know, hardly rises above $30. And so you can't help, you know, you can't blame him for making such a bold, bold move. And um, you have to think at this point in his career, you know, maybe it's time to take these, you know, these, these, uh, these big chances and, they uh, they didn't really announce what they were going to do to make up for the lost revenue, but I'm sure that's part of their strategy. They don't want to, uh, you know, divulge to their competitors exactly what they're going to do to make up for the lost revenue. But um, it is interesting to see. Um, I'm sure they're still going to be around. You know, CVS didn't go out of business whenever they stopped selling tobacco, so uh, GE won't go out of business whenever they get rid of their GE Capital division, but they might see some reduced profitability. Let's, but... Uh, Maybe not. I know that um, they, they're planning $90 billion to return to investors over the next couple of years by 2018. Um, part of that is stock buybacks and part of that is dividend increases. So um, we'll see if they'll be able to, uh, to honor that commitment without GE Capital um, and uh, see what effect it has on the credit holders as well. I know that their credit rating was actually reduced on Friday because uh, the credit rating agency said that the move was um, a big uh, boon to shareholders, and it came at the expense of credit holders. So, a lot to think about, a lot to consider. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Uh, if the, uh, the jump in the GE share price will uh, be sustainable, if they'll be able to honor those commitments to increase their dividend payout and be able to, um, to uh, move forward with their share repurchases, or if it's short lived and if they, uh, you know, have difficulty replacing that lost revenue. So, Good luck to the uh, CEO of GE and to the uh, company as a whole, and I look forward to seeing what happens.